Oh boy. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And if you're feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. Let's reload an Echo Speed Feed 400 trimmer head the right way. First step, make sure that there's no line left inside the speed feed head. If you still have line trapped inside, maybe some little nubs sticking out of each end, push on the tabs on the sides, open it up, and take it out. Other than that, you should not have to open this thing up. Next, what you're gonna do is look for the arrow right here on the side of your head. There's also another one just above it right here underneath your debris shield. You're gonna line these arrows up with your holes simply by twisting the top knob, just like that. At this point, you should be able to see daylight all the way through the hole. If you can see daylight all the way through, you're good to go. Time out. If you appreciate tutorials like this, would you mind taking a super quick second to smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm? Thanks. Next, grab your line and start pulling some out. Now everyone has their way, here's mine. And I've never had an issue doing it this way. I call it the wing step. What I like to do is take my line, step on it somewhere in the middle, and pull it out until I have a wingspan arm length out on each side. This is your wing step, baby. Right from there, go ahead and snip off your line. That right there should be plenty of line for you. Next, stick your line through. If the line is jamming for some reason and won't go through, check that your arrows are lining up with your holes and make sure you have daylight going through. Also check your lines to make sure that there's no curves or bends like this. And if there are, just bend it straight. Pull your line all the way through. And as you pull the line all the way through, you'll want to center it just like this, making sure that you have even amounts on each side of the trimmer head. From here, take your hand and grab this top knob. Then take your other hand, grab the bottom and just start spinning and you'll ratchet that line right in. Make sure you have even amounts on each side and good. A great success. Now if you have one end longer than the other, just take some pliers and snip off the longer end just by about an inch or two. Or you can let the debris cutoff knife inside your debris shield do its job. Now let's say you're trimming along and you need some more line to come out. Well, all you gotta do is bump the head lightly like that and an extra inch will come out on each end. You don't need to slam it down super hard. A light tap oh, is that. all it needs. Another great feature about these SpeedFeed 400 trimmer heads is that you can mount them to just about any trimmer out there. Not just Echo trimmers. A couple of years ago, I put one of these SpeedFeed heads on a John Deere trimmer that was over 40 years old, and it worked beautifully. You can buy one of these SpeedFeed heads and they come with a variety of mounts so you can mount it to just about any trimmer out there. I'll have these SpeedFeed 400 heads linked down below in the description. Now, if you are looking for a good line at a good price, this is the .95 Crossfire line by Echo. I've had this package now for nearly 10 years and I got about one more job left in it. This stuff really lasts and that is pretty remarkable. I have a brand new package ready to go. For a few extra bucks, there's their Black Diamond line, which I've heard nothing but good things about. And I'll have that link down below in the description as well. Here's one more final tip. Let's say you're about to go out into a field and do a lot of trimming. Do the wing step, grab another bundle of line, wrap it around your hand like so, and then simply just shove it in your pocket. As soon as you run out, Reach in your pocket, boom, right there in the middle of the field, you can reload. And you don't gotta walk all the way back to your garage or your shed or your truck just to grab some line. Simply reload and go. Don't forget to give me one of these and check out more cool garage gear videos right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.